how, how do you um, juggle between burying a player and picking him up, you know, with what Richie went through and, and um, you know, where are you going with that spot? My, my whole thing is when I deal with players, it's always to build them up. It's never to tear them down. You know, I tell them all the time, there's two types of knowledge in life. It's borrowed and it's bought. Sometimes you buy it, sometimes you borrow it. You know, and Richie bought it. You know, so he's got to keep his head up. You know, this game's about adversity. And it's not about what happens to you. It's about how you react to what happens to you. And it's, it'll be a test for him. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We've got a lot of guys competing for the spot. And we'll, we'll see what happens. What, what did Where he do? You? I mean, he dropped, you know, he dropped, you know, lost the ball. Yeah. Uh, what technically did he do not do right? Uh, probably the first thing he did wrong was wear sleeves, cotton sleeves with, a, you know, with that. It's kind of cool out. Probably wasn't the best decision. That's probably on me more than anything. Which I didn't take him off. Um, and then the second one, he just, just took a shot. Like you got to hang on to the ball. I mean, that's that's just football. You know, good fundamentals, good technique, keep the ball. You know, double in trouble. When you get in traffic, you got to cover the ball up. So. What's explain the cotton sleeves? Like you don't want guys to wear cotton sleeves yeah. ever. Or? Why is that? So because you the, the ball will slip, right? So. If, Anytime you have a regular, you know, leather ball up against a smooth surface and it's not skin, that's something that you don't want. Like that's, you don't ever want that. I mean, a running back can't wear sleeves either, right? Yeah, you, that's why you rarely see running backs have sleeves on. Did you say so? Why, did, why was it? No, I just, it, it was my fault. I just, I should have, I should have told him to take it. And I'm normally all over that. Like, and it was just something that I, I, it was my fault, you know, so I slipped on that one. Is there some other type of material he could use? Uh, no, skin. <laughs> That's, you know, when, when you wear, when you carry the ball, you want that ball firmly up against your body, and you don't want anything to make it slide or move while you're carrying it. Where are you at the punt return position? Are you at the point where if he's healthy, you want to give him another shot, or are you at the point where it's a... You know, you're, you're up in the air about who's yeah, going to do it so far. This we're going to let the week play out and, s and see what happens. You know, we got a bunch of guys back there catching them. You know, obviously, you know, you, you can't put the ball on the ground. That's like, we all know that. Like, that's a no-brainer. Like, you know you can't turn the ball over and put it on the ground. So, we'll see what happens once we get towards the back end of the week. Who said he was at the top? Well, he went back there on Seattle. I mean, he's the first guy out here. That doesn't mean he's at the top of the list. Yeah. <laughs> with uh, with a rookie like Pimpleton, he's on the practice squad. Mm -hmm. So, as you said before, you're not sure when moves are made by the people upstairs, mm -hmm. if he's active, that kind of thing. But when you're dealing with somebody who has that success in college as a re as a returner, mm -hmm. how much can you work him in and in, in practice to get him ready for if that opportunity arises? You know, Pimp's been he's been working all season. You know, since he's been here, he's been back back there catching punts. So he gets his work every day, catches after practice. So, I mean, all, all those guys are catching, you know, Darnay. Darnay's catching after practice, uh, during practice. Uh, but no, all those guys are back there catching. They're all working at it and all trying to get better at it. And that's, that's our whole thing, just trying to get better every single week and, uh, you know, contributing in a, in a positive fashion. Why was Darnay the guy in Seattle? Because he was the only other punt returner that was there ready to go. <laughs> is there a stark difference between the college return game and the professional return yes, game? Yes, it's a big it's difference. Not just a, and how so? It is a big difference. Most of the time in college, because you have the influx of all the Australian punters, there's so many of them in, in Division One football now. Uh, most of the time when they catch the ball, it's off a of bounce. You rarely see the ball turn over and you get a you know 50 yard, four, five, four, eight punt. You don't see that a lot in college. Most of the time, it's some type of rugby, you know, end over end ball, and it's it's different. You know, if you look at the rookie returners in this league, you know, over the last first five weeks of the season, they had a lot of muffs because you don't you just don't see it. You don't see the ball turn over. You don't see the big balls, you know, being hit uh, in college. You just it's more of a line drive, forty six yards on the ground. It might roll for twenty. You know, or you might get one that's going back across the field, end over end. It's just a different kind of spin. Yeah. Yeah. How do you approach that, like teaching your rookies then that difference? Reps. 
It's just reps. I mean, you can't you can't speed up the process. The process is what it is, you know. So you can, you know you can't push a button and all of a sudden they can catch that ball coming out of jugs at you know fifty yards, five zero hang or with a lefty spin. That's a whole nother different you know subject. So uh, you know it's it's a process. You know you can't talk about go through going through the process without going through it. Right? Being being in, being a process driven organization like we are. That's just part of the process, you know, young guys coming in and learning how to catch a ball off the foot. It's just different. That's what I get. Can punt returners, no sleeves, mm -hmm. put anything on their arms? No. Stick <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> you said that, I did. <laughs> you had sleeves on the board in that game, so. You're right, you're right. And uh, Slayton's done it. Done it some, but not as much as a Dory. Are you even sure whether Richie will be available Sunday because of the concussion? You know, I, I'm not going to talk about injuries, but uh, you know, those like I said, those guys are out there working, and uh, you know, we'll see where it happens.